Kelly, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hey, Ken, how you doing today? I'm living the dream, Kelly. What's going on? Hey, thanks for taking my call. Hey, I got a couple questions. So I just turned 40 this past year, and, you know, I've been at my job for 16 years. Uh, my wife and I just had our fifth baby. Congratulations. Um, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. And um, it's just been kind of weighing on us. Like, we've, we've kind of moved a couple different places trying to uh, – try to get our, our finances in, in order because we want to be able to look at starting our own business to where we can actually start giving back to people. Yeah. And I just feel like in my job I'm at now, I mean, it's a good stable job, but it just, I don't, we don't have that time to be able to do that. So I don't know. We're looking at wanting to start our own business. If we should kind of just, you know, dive in and, and start our business to where we've had clients and, and family and friends say, yes, we think you'd be, you'd have plenty of work kind of stuff to do, but me to go from a job to where I'm the sole provider right now and it covers our insurance, it covers our mortgage and everything yeah. like that. No, don't do you, jump. Uh, you know, no, 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 no. Don't jump. We don't, don't jump. jump. No, what we're going to do is we're going to walk. Okay. So we don't want to rely on friends and families pep talks, which in this case, I'm really glad you got friends and family that are supportive and they're saying, yes, go do this. That's super amazing. But we don't want to rely on friends and family to say, oh, we think you're going to have plenty of business. What you want to do is you want to get it started now. That's what I mean by walk. So let's see if we can launch this. What would need to be true for you and your wife to be able to launch this business and you not walk away from your full-time day job yet. Can we do that? If that's possible, and I'm going to help you think through that, then that's what I would prefer you do so that there is no jump. What we will do is, is we'll build this business up to the point that it's going to replace your income uh, or at least replace a good portion of the income and we've saved, 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 sold whatever we can do. We got ourselves in a financial position to where we're not going to have this big risk. I just want to remove all of the risk. Is that possible? Right. I think so. If it is, we're just going to be not necessarily burning the candle on both ends, but it's just going to be, it's going to be super busy. We just want to try to make sure we have time for the kids and everything that. and you know I get it and doing that so I get it but let me ask you this yeah. just on the outset if if you had to burn it pretty hard for a while and you had to cut back on some of the time with the kids for a while we're talking about a season here not a long season um but you knew that it was going to work would it be worth it right now Definitely, definitely. I'd make sure, you know, we sit there and we talk to the kids and we pray about it and make sure that, yeah. you know, they and let them understand that this is what we're doing. And, How old are the kids? Uh, they go anywhere from 11 down to two months. Yeah, so let me encourage you because I'm a bit ahead of you as a dad. My kids are in, in their teens, and I can tell you that my kids don't want to be around me. They're teenagers, <laughs> right? And, and so um, your 11-year-old has gotten a lot of time with mom and dad and and mm -hmm. the, the range and and then you start getting below oh nine or ten they don't really understand time like you and i understand time right and i love the idea of you sitting down with the whole family and the kiddos and to the ones that can understand it say hey mom and dad are taking on this big new adventure you guys are a part of this adventure we're doing this for us we're doing this for you and this is what it's going to look like and we just go all in. And when we look back on this thing, let's say two, three years from now, the kids are going to go, mom and dad joined together. We all worked together. and It was an awesome adventure. And it changed our lives. Right. Do you see that? I think I do. Yes, sir. Yep. I think we better make that work. I, you know. What's the business? I uh, love doing home renovation and be able to work on people's homes and try to make it, you know, take something that's old and run down and make yeah. it look newer. Yeah. And then trying to be able to give back to people yeah. like if they can't afford something and be able to go give it to them out of good faith and no have to no cost to them. Yes. Like a cat ramp or something like that. So. Hey, so you've done this before on the side. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You and, and you, we still yeah we do it kind of now. And you do it now. How many hours Just a week? Not a, Go ahead. How many hours a week would you say um, that you do it now in a, in a given month? Uh, 
Well, we actually just bought a, uh, an old home of our own. We're trying to get that up to par. Um, but we we were doing it, you know, we we probably, you know, anywhere from an extra, I don't know. I mean, it could range from, from 5 to 10 to 15 hours extra a week that yeah. outside of my regular work. And it's yeah. Just, I know so. it's tough. I know it's hard mm-hmm. physical manual labor. But how many projects do you – and you don't have to answer this. This is a rhetorical question to get your brain going. How many projects do you have to be successful on to be able to start to go, okay, now I can get some part-time help too from guys that are looking to pick up some extra money themselves or some young guys that want to move into this full-time. Maybe they're going to trade school. And, and I just know young people that are coming out of high school and they don't want to darken the door of a college, but they do want to get into the work I'm doing. And if I put together a good little team – how long is it going to take me to get to a point where I'm general contracting and not doing much of the work, but I'm showing up and my 5 to 10 to 15 hours a week are not the actual manual labor, but showing up, taking care of the customer, making sure the job's being done right. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And hey, how long does it take for you to be doing some reno jobs where you take the 11-year-old and the 8-year-old with you. And so they're doing homework on the site or they're riding around in the car with you. Hey, kiddos, it's milkshake night. You buy them a milkshake (laughs) and you spend time talking about their school day. And you take them and you're just checking in on jobs. And on Saturdays, they're hanging out with you and they're making a little extra money. Now, all of a sudden, you're not away from your kiddos, but your two oldest are on the job site with you making money, man, and making memories. That's right. That's what that's what we want to do. Well, is that possible or is it a pipe dream? No, I think we I think it's possible. Of course it's possible. You better say that. I was gonna jump <laughs> through that phone, man. <laughs> you know? Yes, sir. No, I'm serious. Like, I'm not being delusional here. I'm making right. you confront the realities that this is possible. And you look up two, three years from now, and you're out of the day job, brother, and you're rocking and rolling. Right. Yes, sir. No, it's, it's that extra that you help open it and clear it out for me, be able Good. to make me see a little bit better and Good. and need that, that coaching. Good, bro. Well, listen, I, I grew up in the Hampton Roads area. And, uh, oh, wow. nice. yeah, man, went to school in Chesapeake, Virginia Beach area. My mom and dad still live in the Smithfield area. That's a great area there. There's all kinds oh, yeah. of opportunity for you to jump in uh, and, and make some real money with people being transient in the military and everything else. I think this is all in, mm-hmm. and I think you just do this really smart. You okay. do this really smart. Wow. Right now, you start with you. You up your hours. You take as many projects as you can physically take and do a good job. Those jobs are going to turn into more referrals, and more things, and then you just build this thing, and your goal is to get to where you are doing very little physically yourself, and you got subs coming in, and you're doing, you got really good subs who know what they're doing, and you're the face of the business. You're who the customer trusts. You fix what needs fixing, and, and I think that this thing is going to turn into a, a, a dream job quicker than you realize. Wow. Okay. Well, right, thank Kelly. you very much. You got this, Kelly. Go, go, go.